In avant-garde rock circles is a mysterious band called The Residents. The San Francisco group has released seven weird albums since their inception in 1974, all of which are based on the so-called theory of obscurity. The theory of obscurity proper is an artistic theory. Uh, uh, there's a system built upon this theory, the main premise of which is that um, the artist is doing what he's doing for himself and primarily and with a minimum amount of input and or feedback from the outside. During the nearly 10 years that the residents have been in existence, they have steadfastly refused to reveal their identity. This is sort of an extension of the theory of obscurity put into practical use. Uh, they have the idea that by remaining anonymous, they remain uh, less subjected to immediate feedback from other people who might, um, you know, influence what they do. In fact, they've only performed live twice in the last decade, affecting bizarre disguises. Most of their music revolves around a portion of the theory of obscurity called phonetic organization. It's a way of arranging sounds. It's a technique by which the residents do records. And uh, like I say, simply, it just means the organization of sound. Uh, more generally, it means that a musician or a recording artist, whatever, uh, need not necessarily follow the established rules of music. Theoretically, you can take any group of sounds and organize them in an interesting manner. And this is what the residents try to do. Certain basic primitive quality to all the residents' work they rely more on the primal instincts and, you know, corresponding to the, to the, uh, to the you know, tribal cultures like Africa, South America, or North Pole, whatever. You know, the, the percussion and basic beat is a rudimentary you know, concept involved in earlier forms of music. And yet, their process is the state of the art of today's technology. The resident's work of art is indeed the record itself and uh, the creative process is done in the studio. The main instruments used are in fact the studio and its various components. Here's another residence tune, The Act of Being Polite. I found her crying in the morning, sitting in a chair. She was wrapping something up and wrapping it with care. I did not mean to hurt her when I fell asleep last night. I was just exhausted from the act of being polite. Yes, I was just exhausted from the act of being polite. 